Welcome back to Midcap Radar. Well, the company in focus is Nitin Spinners. The stock has surged more than 27% in 2024 so far. To discuss the current demand trends, both in the export as well as the domestic markets, we are now joined by Dinesh Nolka, the Managing Director at Nitin Spinners. Good afternoon, Mr. Nolka. Thank you so much uh, you know, for joining us today. First up, you know, like we mentioned, Q2, we are in the midst of uh, what has essentially been quite a volatile and uh, uh, you know a quarter that's seen quite a lot of upheaval as far as you know the space that you're present in is concerned when you saw us last time you said you expect to see 10 to 12 percent volume growth in fi25 do you stick to those numbers how has q2 been especially in the context of all of the worries especially as far as bangladesh is concerned has there been any disruptions in your operations um good afternoon uh, thank you for having me on the show Demand uh, per se has been reasonable, quite robust, I would say, and uh, we still stick to this our guidance of about uh, 12 to 13 percent increase in the volume side. So that is still there, and uh, we are op operating at uh, quite optimum capacity levels at this point of time. Uh, as far as uh, yes, Bangladesh is concerned, there has been a quite a lot of upheaval during last one month. Uh, there has been apart from the political scenario there has been uh, they are also affected by the floods in uh, quite a lot of part of bangladesh and now they also have certain labor disruptions so uh, it is the bangladesh capacities in textiles is up and running but they have uh, i would say they are still not reached the full capacity level they are still running at about 85 to 90 percent levels so as far as we are concerned uh, uh, there has been a reasonable demand we have been uh, getting we have been supplying our old contracts as well as getting the new orders plus the payments are also quite regular there so we don't see any major upheaval in the short run as such as far as bangladesh is concerned okay so no impact for you but the general unorganized sector players were telling us that the yarn exporters to bangladesh they could be impacted because of the capacity constraints that bangladesh is seeing currently we get that point um, you know your export contribution that has been increasing and we have spoken about how exports did uh, exports have been in focus what kind of growth are you expecting this year um, have things changed in terms of inquiries coming in from uh, global players to india after the changes that we have seen uh, because of the unrest um, exports for us, uh, we, we have about 60% of our uh, revenues going in for exports. And we expect to maintain the similar kind of run rate as well. So whatever growth in the total top line we will have, similar kind of growth we will have in the exports also. And for that purpose, we are trying to explore various other markets apart from Bangladesh and uh, certain markets which has been disturbed due to the various geopolitical situations. So we expect, of course, we have issues of Red Sea where the costs have increased and uh, other uh, geopolitical tensions also happening in Russia and Ukraine. But we feel that we should be able to manage uh, the growth uh, for us okay. at least in the export market. Okay. So, Mr. Nolka, I wanted to understand when you say you'll be able to maintain the growth that you're seeing on the top line, that is something you'll see in exports. So, 10 to 12% volume growth. Uh, will you see a higher realization growth as well? Uh, what are you penciling in as far as cotton prices are concerned right now? Has there been a big movement there? Um, I think uh, realizations are not going to improve any further at this point of time. It looks as if for the next five, six months because cotton prices have been quite subdued for last six months. They have a major challenge in hand where the international cotton prices are uh, getting down and whereas the Indian cotton prices due to uh, heavy rains and less irrigated area are slowly inching up. So we have a in Indian cotton prices going up, whereas the Indian international cotton prices coming down. So we have a challenge in hand for that. And uh, that is something which we'll have to navigate over the next two, three months once the Indian cotton prices settle down. So overall, we don't see major improvement in the realizations uh, because the subdued cotton prices are there. And cotton prices outlook, I would say, uh, it should remain quite stable in India. India, since we have a minimum support price operations in place, where they will have downside is limited. And uh, because of uh, lesser prices internationally and a lot of imports happening, we don't see uh, upside as well. So this could be a very steady state of kind of pricing scenario for cotton for the next five, six months. Got it, sir. Mr. Nolka, thank you so much for joining us. So you expect uh, realizations to remain around uh, the current levels and also you stick to your you know, volume guided band in the range of 10 to 12 percent. Upside, you have given us a 13 percent volume uptake. Uh, but, you know, moving on, in a press 